Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, continued from my previous vlog, we are still traveling in Sikkim, at the moment we have stopped just near the cantilever bridge and we are taking pictures and also soaking in the natural beauty of this place. The valleys, the cold wind and the ever-changing scenery left all of us mesmerized. We were thoroughly enjoying the place and also clicking pictures at the same time. Just for your information we are at a height of about 10,000 feet above sea level. We have traveled from a small town called Rongli and are driving across the Silk Route. We have just covered 40% of our journey. We will travel across the famous Nathang Valley, Baba Harbhajan Temple, Nathula Pass and rest at Gantok, the capital of Sikkim. Now we are heading towards Nathang Valley and you can see Indian army establishments here in this unforgiving land. The steep climb is on and now we have stopped near a small hotel in Nathang Valley. When I spoke to the shop owner she said that to extreme cold she just opened her shop last week. She shuts the shop at night and returns to her home. Ask you. My take is on this place. It is as unfair, unforgiving as you told. No? It's quite treacherous, you know, road. Not so bad as what we went, but... How's the climate? How's the treacherous? Environment. The climate they see it's very cold, very very cold. So if you are just coming with a jacket like I did, we are going to suffer. Let me alarm the viewers that it is extreme cold here, and cold winds make things more difficult. We are talking about 13,500 feet above sea level, and it gets freaking cold. For the first time, we had to turn on the heater of our car to keep ourselves warm. We were surrounded with snow, and in spite of extreme cold, we could not control ourselves to have fun and take pictures. This was an opportunity of a lifetime. I must salute the Indian Army for maintaining such a remarkable road at such treacherous heights and inhospitable place. It is truly commendable. Soon there were snow all over us and we could help but admire the beauty of the Himalayas. We were cautioned about the fog and wrongly by the locals there as it would make driving more dangerous in such a terrain. We could see a lake below and it was so picturesque, the ice-capped mountains, blue skies and the lake. If you will observe the topography is changed is also the color of the mountains. Our next stop is Baba Harbhajan Mandir, located between Nafula and Jalpla Pass at an altitude of 13,123 feet and about 52 comes from Gangtok, Baba Harbhajan Singh Temple is popularly known as Baba Mandir. Baba Harbhajan Singh was a soldier in the Indian Army and worked in the Dogra Regiment during 1962 China-India War. This soldier died near the Nathula Pass in eastern Sikkim, India, while on duty. Mr. Harbhajan Singh got drowned in a glacier during the 1962 China-India War. He was searched for everywhere and he was found three days later and was cremated with full military honors. Give me we are now traveling towards our final destination which is Nathula Pass. It is situated at an altitude of 14,140 feet above sea level. We could not take a small vehicle so we had to hire a local vehicle to take us to Nathula Pass and costed us around 500 INR per head. We now saw more snow than we could imagine and it made us all happy. It looked like it is just snow. When we reached the summit, we were shocked to see so many people already there. There was quite a traffic with so many vehicles. So it is the famous Nathula Pass, so I am not allowed to do videography here. So we are trying to get in now. It's quite a rush, but we are getting in. Lots of We had to climb uphill with the snow beneath us and it was quite tricky. It was so slippery and unstable. Unfortunately, as soon as we reached there the army officials maintaining the place closed to gate partly due to bad weather and also because of a large number of people flocking this place. Videography is prohibited at this place. We are now heading towards Gangtok, the capital of Sikkim. We will rest there overnight and the next morning travel back home via Siliguri.